She was so bad, bad, never the best Going in good now, baby, I'm a heck Crush up What's up, YouTube? So, last year I showed you my movie collection And this year I will be showing off my hat collection Uh, first off, we have what I like to call the golden hat For those of you- Okay, this is a really creaky floor, so you just have to, uh, deal with that, I guess, for the video for those of you who have seen or read the book Catcher in the Rye, this is like pretty close to the hat that he wears and uh, I actually kind of like that book so I wore it around school a lot and for anybody who watched Catcher, read Catcher in the Rye, they were a wee bit concerned but that was the fun part about it. Here we got a beanie from Washington State. It's not actually like a college that I'm going to or anything, they're just giving these out when I toured there so keeps your head nice and warm. Unfortunately, I did wear it in like a Christmas photo one year, so it looks like I'm going to Washington State, but I'm actually not. Speaking of colleges that I am going to, got my very own Utah State hat, uh, and I picked this up while I was touring there a couple years ago, because I kind of figured, I was like, okay, this is in serious contention for a college that I want to go to. So I picked up the hat, pretty comfortable fit. I do like how it just says U State, so it almost looks like just like the most generic college uh, name ever, because every single college name basically has U in it or State in it. I mean, not everyone, but like, you know, a lot of them do. I have a, a couple other college ones. There's Western Washington and Boise State. Boise State, I kind of wanted to go to back when I was a junior, but I ended up deciding against it. And Western Washington is where my sister went to. And this is was uh, back in the day of the flat bill. I don't know if that's still like a trend, but I, okay, I dropped it. I remember in like the mid 2010s, like that was anybody who was anybody wore a flat bill hat. What's funny is uh, I remember one time we, my class was going on a school field trip to the University of Washington, and there were a lot of contrarians who were wearing their Washington State hats uh, because you know Huskies versus Cougars is a huge rivalry, and I, I decided to go third party and wear this one. Which uh, I think was a pretty, pretty interesting foreshadowing to what my political opinions would end up being. I also got this Utah Rocks hat uh, when I was in Utah. I think I got this at Arches National Park, and it's got a picture of Zion, Bryce, and Arches, and I've been to all three of those, so that's pretty cool. And it's kind of corny, so you know, have to keep it corny. Now this one's perhaps one of the most important ones. It's what I call my lucky hat. And it's a Ron John Surf Shop hat that I got in Cozumel, Mexico. And uh, the reason I call it my lucky hat is because a number of times in sophomore year, I would wear this hat to like a chemistry test or maybe while I was turning in an English paper. And every single time I would score like really high. And I'm not just talking about like, oh, you know, I got a B plus. I got like chemistry tests that would be like 98% or English paper that got 95%, you know, stuff like really, really exceptional. And I even like wrote, uh, uh, a speech about the hat. And then of course we have my graduation cap that I got last year when I graduated high school. Uh, not much to it. I do like how inside of it, it tells you which way is the front of the cap. I don't know if you can see it down there, right down there, it tells you this is the front of the cap. Because otherwise I would not have any idea. And I'm, I'm not actually joking, like I legit would not know which way it goes just because I'm, A, I'm kind of a smooth brain when it comes to putting on clothes. And B, I just have such a big head that I just assume that it doesn't fit anyway. And so I don't worry about which direction it, you know, supposedly fits. I used to have a lot of flat bills, especially Adidas, but I think this is the only one I have left. And that uh, it doesn't fit very well. Of course, because of the size of my head and because I, I used to have like a cowlick up here, you know, with like my hairstyle, I would always wear them kind of like perched on the back of my head so they would like go upward. So I, I don't think like, for many years of wearing hats, I don't think they ever actually like had any sort of utility of blocking sun for my eyes. They were just purely like a, a you know, wardrobe choice. Uh, but this one was always kind of my favorite just because of the color scheme. And then I got a couple Mariners hats here. Got uh, the, I wouldn't really call it regular, but maybe like the more modern logo. And then this is the, uh, the old, old classic one that they like to rebrand. Um, this one's a little bit more comfortable just because it, it's kind of loose, so it like actually fits on my head well. Um, most hats don't do that. Uh, this one, this one's pretty nice too. I mean, they're just you know 
normal hats. This is actually kind of a sturdy, pretty, you know, well-built hat. Um, obviously, when I went over, I go to a Mariners game, which hasn't been in ages because of Corona. Next up, we'll be taking a look at my Redditor phase. Um, I got this top hat, and I think I got it from like a garage sale or something. Luckily, I never wore it to school because I had a little bit of dignity. However, I did wear this to school uh, back in my fifth grade. And just the thought of that makes me cringe right now. Like that, that I actually wore, oh gosh. And then I have this uh, Mariners edition fedora, which is actually kind of cool. Um, and I, would, I wore it to like several Mariners games. And it, it actually like, this is kind of passable. You know, you can, you can wear this in, Maybe a, maybe a, you know, casual Reddit user, but you're not, at least you're not like, you know, full on Redditor when you wear this. Um, I also got this University of Tennessee hat that I forgot to mention, and I have this not so much because I was really interested in the school. I mean, I, I was like vaguely interested, but more because my aunt teaches softball there. This has always been kind of a nice hat. I actually think I've had this for a lot longer than like just, you know, the last couple of years of high school. Um, because like I said, you know, we were doing it. well, she taught it. Tennessee, and we'd visit there every year, so everybody had at least a couple items of University of Tennessee paraphernalia. And also this one hat that I think my sister gave me, and it just says youth, and it's kind of like a just nice generic hat, although the, it's weird because like the front is like kind of firm, so it can't like contour to my head, and I, I actually don't know anybody who has like, I mean you'd have to have like a really large forehead for this to even make sense, because like it curves up like that, I don't know, it just feels weird, and then like, if you were to actually, like, that's actually where it starts to hit my head, so it doesn't fit it correctly, you know, or I have to like, pull it down all the way here, and then I have this, uh, St. Augustine, Florida hat, which my dad got from St. Augustine, Florida. Now, my personal favorite hat is this one, this says Edmonds Woodway, that's the high school that I went to, and it's, it's got the letters in like the Friends style of writing. And I don't even like love the Friends TV show. I mean, I kind of like it, but uh, I just thought that was really cool. And the thing I like most about this though is that it just fits perfectly. Like, there's not many hats that actually fit my head correctly. And I think what the reason it fits so perfectly is it's like, it's kind of shallow, you know? So it can actually like, fit on top of my head. Move that in the way, as opposed to like, trying to actually cover any amount of area. And then I can actually use it as like a hat to actually like block sunlight, whereas most of my hats can't even do that because they're basically sitting on the back of my head, you know? So I do love this hat. Also a couple like costume hats here. So I got the, uh, the, the man in the yellow hat hat from Curious George. Remember in sophomore year at my high school, we would always have days where we would dress up in our class colors. Freshmen were orange, sophomores were yellow, uh, and then juniors, I think, were purple, and seniors were green. And so sophomore year, I dressed up as the man in the yellow hat, which I thought was pretty cool. And then I also have this uh, Italia uh, chef's hat, which is kind of funny. And what's what's even funnier is that it's not like I got these when I was like a little kid. Like, I, I got I used both of these when I was, well, used. I got both of them when I was 16, so... That's probably why I never use them. I think this is actually one of the few times I've even put that on my head. But, with all due, I don't know what I'm saying. So let's get into possibly the greatest hat in my entire collection. It is the Come and Go gas station hat. Um, and what makes this hat so great is that, much like the hat in regular show, it has a nice mesh heart in the back, and as Rigby said, you get a nice cross breeze going. Um, I don't think I've worn this hat that many times. Obviously, I can't wear it to school. Um, well, I couldn't wear it to high school. I could probably wear it to college, but I don't know. I feel like someone would say something. Um, and what's also cool is that it has a little uh, bottle opener right there. And it would be even cooler if the bottle opener would work. But it, I've tried it a number of times on like root beer bottles, and then when, you know, adults are opening beer bottles, I'll like be like, oh, hey, can I try? It never works. I, I don't know why. I don't know if you have to leverage it in a certain way or if it's just not really designed to work at all, but it never works. And so that's kind of sucks. My favorite memory with this hat was buying it when I was just uncontrollably giggling the entire time. And the cashier was just looking at me like, I don't get paid enough to do this. So it is, it is a great hat. And, uh, 
Thank you very much for watching my video.